morning guys today is June 3rd in our devotional and I hope you all are having a good day today um, my parents uh, my mom and my stepdad they uh, went back home yesterday and uh, I had a good visit with them uh, I do want to ask you all to continue to pray for my mom she um, she has a lot of health issues going on and she's so far away <laughs> but uh, she has along with the the wrist that she crushed she has a torn rotator cuff uh, she also has they found a mass uh, behind her bladder and several other things so keep her in your prayers but okay <laughs> this morning in her devotional it says guard against evil First Corinthians chapter 16 verse 13 be on your guard stand firm in faith be courageous be strong James chapter 4 verse 7 resist the devil and he will flee from you Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery Luke chapter 21 verse 19 stand firm and you will win life Galatians chapter 5 verse 16 let the Holy Spirit guide your lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves Romans chapter 16 verse 17 I urge you brothers and sisters to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching that you have learned keep away from them in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 and 9 stay alert watch out for your great enemy the devil he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour stand firm against him and be strong in your faith remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are and at the bottom it says when testimonies are given of the war with details about the wounds and brokenness i'm so thankful that the war is over but little do we realize we're facing a war every day in and around us the war against evil the best way to guard against evil is to take a stand against the devil you do this by clinging to god's truth when he attacks you with his lies the truth always wins study and know the word it's your sword of victory and god's word is our sword that is in ephesians um, we when things come come against us we need to stand firm and that's <laughs> that's a devotional I need this morning <laughs> but um, you will find the answers to everything in God's word you all know how I am about um, you all need to read God's word for yourself don't take anyone's word for what scripture says read it for yourself you can be deceived you can be deceived and a lot of people want to hold on to things like a tradition hold on to things that they have been told all their life and they don't want to let it go uh, the only way we're going to find truth is through God's word don't take anybody's word for it because some preachers some preachers 
you, you know, there's good ones out there, but they're far and few. Uh, far and few in between. But some does not uh, take what God says in his word. They, they pick and choose certain things to beat people down and make them feel bad. And that's why, that is why there are so many who leave churches and don't want to go back to church because they get beat down by preachers. I'll give you an example. This happened to my own daughter. She um, had moved out of state. Uh, this is my oldest daughter. She had moved out of state and had went to a church and uh, her and her husband and was her and her husband was actually called to the front of the church and was told how they will burn for eternity and they're never going to see their son again and um, just, you know, all these things that beat them down and embarrassed them and to the point that... Uh, her husband won't step back into the church. And that was a few years ago. He will not step back into the church. He don't want nothing to do with it. We can't do that, guys. We can't do that. Be very cautious. Don't let anything come from your mouth, preachers included. Don't let anything come from your mouth that does not edify somebody else. That is scripture. That is Ephesians chapter 4 verse 29. And that scripture says, Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what was good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Grace, not humiliation and embarrassment. And that's just something that happened years ago. And still to this day, he will not step his foot in a church. Watch how you treat people. Careful how you treat people. And I know this kind of off topic, but you know, our devotional is to guard against evil. And no matter what church you go to, it says in scripture that he sent his sheep out amongst wolves. There's wolves there. Be careful. Okay. Um, just keep my mom in your prayers. She needs a physical healing, an emotional he healing, spiritual healing. Uh, she's got a lot of stuff going on and she deserves a whole lot better than how she's getting treated but <laughs> that's enough of that I love you guys sorry <laughs> I love you guys and as always give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down like, share, and subscribe join me on the disciple server and if I don't see you in the next video, I hope to see you in heaven. I really do. I love you guys.